the gas cost to use memory in EVM grows quadratically. According to the website evm.codes, the equation for how to calculate the gas cost is given by these two equations. Let's simplify and then graph this equation. For simplicity, we'll say that memory byte size is always equal to 32, and then we'll ignore this plus 31. What we're doing here is we're saying that we're going to use up UNT256, which takes up 32 bytes of memory. So if you store one UNT256 into memory, then memory size word will be 1. If you use two UNT256 into memory, then memory size will be 2, and so on. So let's graph this equation, memory cost, using a graphing calculator. Here's the equation for how to calculate the cost for allocating memory into EBM. I copy this equation from EBM.codes. And we'll simplify this equation to graph it on the graphing calculator called decimals. First, we'll replace this memory size word with x. So the equation will be x square divided by 512 and then plus 3 times x. We're only interested in the positive axis, so I'll zoom in a little bit on the positive axis. And notice that the equation is quadratic. And this curve tells us that the cost to allocate new memory will be more expensive than the cost to allocate the current memory. Let's actually write some code to see how gas cost increases as we allocate more memory. In Solidity, I wrote a simple code that will allocate memory and then calculate the gas cost for allocating that memory. It has a single function called allocMem. It takes in a single input of UN256N. This will be the size of memory to allocate. This function first calculates the gas cost and then creates an array of UN256 having the size n, and this n comes from the input. After it creates this array, it will calculate the amount of gas that is left, and taking the difference, we can see how much gas was used to create this array. I'll compile the contract by hitting Ctrl S, and we'll deploy the contract. And then we'll call this function allocMem multiple times, and each time we'll increase this number n. Let's start with zero. For creating a UN256 array of size 0, it will cost 120 gas. How about size 1? With size 1, it will cost 178 gas. And then, how about 2? For 2, it will cost 184. I'll keep doing this for different numbers of n. And then afterwards, I'll plot the results on the graphing calculator. Okay, back inside the graphing calculator, let's see the results. So, scrolling down. Here I plotted the size of the UN256 array going from size 0 to all the way up to 200 and on the right side I plotted the amount of gas that it used. Let's see what these points look like. Zooming in, you can sort of see that this looks like a straight line. At this point, it looks like the amount of gas that is needed to create an array of size from 0 to 200 is linear. It looks like a straight line. Next, I created a UN256 array ranging from size 1000 all the way up to 20,000. And then we'll plot the amount of gas that was used again. I'll zoom out first, and let's see this plot. Okay, so I see a graph over here. I'll zoom out further. And you can sort of see that the gas cost to allocate a UN256 array, where the size of this array is really large. The actual gas cost is similar to the gas cost, given by this equation, which is plotted as a green curve. And if we zoom out further, and you can sort of see that this pink line converges with the green curve. So in summary, the gas cost to use memory in EBM grows quadratically. For small usage of memory, this gas cost looks linear. However, for a large amount of memory, this gas cost looks quadratic. And because the gas cost grows quadratically, this also means that you won't be able to use large amount of memory inside your code.